Mike Moore Media. Hey folks, Diane Sawyer here with the Reedsville Chamber of Commerce. Very excited today to be sharing my friend Steve with you. We are here with Junk Mavericks, and I am so excited because as we are uh, recording our podcast today, we are in the process at the Chamber of getting rid of our junk. Um, as some of you may know, we have lots and lots of events, and over the years, the chamber has moved quite a number of times until we landed in our permanent home at 140 South Shell Street, right in the heart of downtown Reedsville. So, we inherited a really great building, uh, but it also has a lot of holes and a lot of hobby holes, and so um, things collect over the years. So, I've got my great friend Steve here with me who's going to help me do that, but I also thought what a great opportunity because he is expanding some of his services with his business. So, Steve, welcome to the show. Uh, good to be here, Diane. Tell us a little bit about yourself, sir. Well, we um, we got a junk removal company in, in Roxham County. We started four years ago this month, and it's doing pretty good. And um, we just uh, remove junk. <laughs> yeah, inside, outside. Outside, inside, do a lot of apartment clean-outs, um, foreclosures. Um, garages, basements. Garages, basements, attics. Uh, business, buildings, um, commercial property, residential property. Uh, my, me and my, my guy Mike here, Mike Moore, uh, we, we stay pretty busy. Sure do. Well, I appreciate you and Mike being here. Happy anniversary. That's right. real exciting. And uh, we got some, we got another uh, thing starting up uh, first of the year. We're going to be uh, offering um, uh, dumpster rentals um, to residential and some commercial uh, commercial properties. What got you in, interested in doing this? Well, um, originally I was a licensed electrician, did electrical work for years, and just got, got burnt out, wanted to do something different. Got to the age where, I don't know, I just wanted to do something different, and um, I started looking on YouTube at different things. Uh, I seen this junk removal uh, process, I figured it'd be a good fit for me, and, and it has been so far, so I'm you, happy with it. You just get, like, tons of satisfaction out of I cleaning love, up really, and, and really, having the I clean really, space I really for people. Enjoy it. I really enjoy it. I really do. I really, um, I don't know, just I like working for myself and um, like, like talking a lot to people, so uh, now I'm getting paid to talk, you know, <laughs> to, to people. So hey, we like that, too. Yeah. Well, you know what's funny is, and here you are adding nonprofit organizations to your to your repertoire. So I have to admit, like I had been thinking about having you come to my house, and I had talked to you about it a little bit. But I saw on your Facebook, so you should go follow Junk Mavericks on Facebook. But I saw your before and after pictures yes. of our member recently. You worked with Joe Dexter over at the Arts Council. Yes, we did. Real nice guy. Um, I'm uh, grateful that he called. Glad we did. Was able to work out. But a job with him, and um, yeah, he uh, he's real real good, real good, nice guy to work with. Yeah, yeah. So we got a, got the arts council stuff cleaned out, yeah, and yeah. now we're getting the chamber stuff cleaned out. You but go. you got your buddy Mike here, who's going to help us. Mike, tell us this morning how much uh, how much fun are you having with Steve here, cleaning up people's junk and and making it a a nice space for folks. You know, I'm, I'm going to tell you, this is one of the jobs that um, I enjoy doing. It can be hard. It can be hot, it can be dirty, but Steve and I have a great relationship. We get along great. He's got a great sense of humor. I feel like I got a pretty good one. We hit it all, and we work well as a team. I enjoy it. It's, 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 it's interesting. I meet a lot of interesting people, and almost every job we go to, I get to talk to the people, and I find out, well, they know somebody, and I know somebody, and lo and behold, you know, we got a good conversation going. But, yeah, I enjoy it. I really do. Steve, tell me, you're adding a service for the dumpsters, and you've got how many trucks? Uh, two trucks, uh, two dump trailers, and just bought another trailer uh, to haul dumpsters off. So no job too big for you, right? Mm, no, I don't know. <laughs> we haven't run into one yet, have we? No, not yet. No, not, not yet. yet. We, uh, we have plenty of uh, warehouses, uh, um, just different, different type jobs. We love them all, for sure. 
What do y'all think about the fact that you're timing of your business? You're coming up on your four-year anniversary. I feel like, personally, from working at home, being at home, doing some projects and things during the pandemic, do you think that that really attributed to the growth of your business? Because we have some businesses who opened right around that time, and I think people were at home just cleaning stuff out, doing projects, and I feel I feel certain that you got the benefit of that a little bit. I feel like I did and, uh, when I first started out mm-hmm. to help get it rolling, get it off yeah. the business, you know, take it, take off good, good on the feet. So, um, yeah, it, uh, yeah, I think it had something to do with it in, in the, in the beginning, you know, but I, but I, we, we didn't know anything just coming. I didn't, you know, no, I just got in at you the right time. The right so, time. Yeah. You know, something I'm very impressed by is your social media. For somebody who, yeah, because, you know, I have people all the time tell me, social media, I don't have time for it. Social media, I don't know what I'm doing. But it seems like for somebody who just decided that this was a fun business they were going to do after being burned out as as a contractor, I mean, I'm impressed by what you do. You get a lot of shares and likes and attention, and I think that, people downplay how much a small business can really benefit from using their social media. Oh yeah, it really helps. It, um, but the thing the thing with it is it's just like if if uh, you kind of afraid to get in the swimming pool, uh, you just gotta jump in, you know, just like with this social media uh, I educated myself on, on it on um, on um, YouTube. You know, I'm kinda of old school. I'm 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 50, 59 in February, but uh, I learned all this stuff on uh, on YouTube, watch YouTube videos as far as the social media stuff. But I'm I'm having a ball doing it. It's really fun to, to me. You are probably one of my favorite stories as far as an entrepreneur it's doing a, it is doing a second doing a second business. Um, you're just so genuine, and you know. I love, you live out near me. We're not, you know, we're out about right in the middle of the county yeah, where you can get yeah. to anywhere in Rockingham County in a short amount of time. And um, tell me, you know, what do you think you see yourself doing in another five years? Like, do you see this business growing? And do you think that you're, you know, going to sell? Or do you think you'll keep doing it just because it's so much fun? Or um, I see it growing. I see me still doing it. Uh, as long as I'm able, I'm gonna keep getting it because I'm having too much fun, you know. And um, it's it's really fun to me. I really enjoy it. I really do. Mike, what do you think about what he's what he's doing and what you know how that looks for the future? I don't think people are gonna stop getting rid of the junk anytime soon. No, they aren't. They aren't. <clears throat> it's just the nature of the business and the times. A lot of people get caught up in their everyday activities and uh, they don't want to fool with it. And they and so it's, this is somebody who comes along offering a great service, and that's one thing I say about Steve. He offers great customer service, and a lot of people don't know what that is anymore. And when they get get upside ahead of it, it's almost a shock to them, you know. And he does a great job with his social media, tells the story with his pictures, and uh, yeah, I, I can see it continue to grow and expand. I can. Well, I think that it's something that you, you know, you don't get too excited about anything, and I think that's you're very level-headed, and I think that's something in a in a business like this because I have to bet that you've seen some pretty crazy stuff too. Oh, I have I have to bet that you have seen some some things where you might have walked into and almost second guessed yourself. Yeah, um, um, but that's okay. It's um, that's where you learn, you know. Oh yeah, for um, sure. It is. It's all. It's all. All comes together. It's all good. Yeah. So I know at one time I don't I don't want to speak for you. Tell me the region that you cover because I know at one time there was a you might have been trying to expand a little bit. But okay. tell us about where you can go. I cover all of Rockingham County, um, uh, Castle County, Stokes County, Guilford County, Forsyth County, Alamance County. And once in a while I'll go a little farther than that. But I used to generally stay stay in the, in that area. I used to go to Virginia, but we don't service Virginia anymore. So. So what I hear you say is you will travel yes, to the ma'am. surrounding yes, counties yes, in the triad, sure. is what I hear. 
So what is the probably most unique space you've ever been in? You said basements and garages and attics. Have you ever had something that you just thought, this is wild? Uh, yes, I have. Uh, somebody was going to want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> I understand but, uh, that. You <laughs> know, it, it, I don't know. What would you say, Mike? The, the most odd one. Really? Yeah, order houses. Uh, you know, people don't believe that that really exists, but it does here even in Rockingham County. Oh, yeah, it really does. Yeah. Yeah. Like, sure. got to walk through a path yeah, stacked up yeah. as tall as you. Yeah. Like genuinely could yeah. be on hoarders, but we we yeah. do those too, you know. We know, you know. It's do you find that you do those for like family members when their person has either passed away or gone to a nursing home? Like, is that the kind, or is it more like renters or you know what kind of situations do you find yourself in? Um, just it's all different. Um, uh, you just never know. Never you know, know. a mixed you bag. Know. Yeah. Tell me this, what would your advice be to someone who's thinking about starting a business in Reedsville or Rockingham County? What would you tell them? What kind of encouragement would you give them? What kind of business now? Any kind of business. If they just wanted to start a business, what kind of advice or encouragement do, would you give them? Do all the research you can do up front. Uh, get mentally prepared. Um, and if you do decide to do it, Jump in 150% and give it all you got. I believe that that is the greatest advice. You know, it's funny. Um, even folks like you who have done their research, I think, find stumbling blocks and things that they have to work through. You do. And we find people who come to us all the time who've already started their business, and then they find out, well, they have to have this or that. You know, they have to be zoned for this, or their building needs this, or their truck yeah. needs this, or you need this kind of license. And so... I would agree with that like a thousand percent. Call your local resources. We have the RCC Small Business Center. You have the Chambers of Commerce. You have your city government, your county government. All of those folks have offices and things that will help you work through those businesses. Yeah, I agree. I agree. <clears throat> well, believe it or not, we have already come up on our very short amount of time together, guys. Right. Is there anything that you would like to share that maybe we didn't cover, either of you? You did a great job. You did a great job. Oh, well, thank you, guys. Thank we you, Steve and Mike. And no, I would just tell people, don't be afraid to fail when you get into this. I think that keeps a lot of people from getting into it. They don't want to fail. Like Steve said, do your research ahead of time and get all your facts and together. But, but don't be afraid to fail, you know. Yeah. I think that's a big thing. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I am super excited because when we get off of here, you guys are getting our junk out of here, right. and I'm super, super pumped about that and uh, getting a dumpster myself for my basement. I'll just put that little plug in there. So, okay. well, we are so thankful. Again, Junk Mavericks, you can find you at uh, the Chambers website, as um, always, and on your social media, your Facebook. Um, Google Junk Mavericks, uh, JunkMavericks.com is my website. Um, on Facebook, see jump remover and all and slash jump mavericks on Facebook. Yeah, and we'll post this, and you all will right. too. So that's awesome. All right. Well, thank you as always, Mike Moore Media, for allowing us to have our podcast. And you can find the chamber in the heart of downtown Reesville and at our website, ReesvilleChamber.org. And we'll see you all real soon.